Welcome to the Wizards Arena. My name is Draymore, and we're waiting on one more person so we can play some Legacy Cube. Here we go. Well, this pack has several good cards in it. I will be choosing the best blue six drop. Boop. But Pregnancy Metamorphosis card, Tamiel's pretty cool. Fractured Identity's really nice. Um, Council Judgment can be good to get around certain things. Um, but it is just consecrated sphinx hands down doesn't get much better than that he's going in the top picks for vintage cube So we'll probably be playing in blue a little bit. Blue green would be sweet. Okay. We got Snapcaster here. And Tireless Tracker, which are both very good creatures. I will choose to pass on both of them. And take Worn Power Stone because there's not much artifact ramp to get out Consecrated Sphinx earlier. Because she's just that good. Um, I mean, I know that Snapcaster, Spell Queller, Tireless Tracker, none of these cards will wheel or Worn Power Stone. It's just Power Stone, I feel. For the Sphinx is best. So we will just have to take that. And apparently the prison drafts them in the back of us. It's a slow drafter. Okay. So if you wanna do blue something. We got Vivian, who's good for green. Reclamation Sage. Hydro. Blue's lots of matter. We do have an artifact. Um, I feel like it's a Hydro or a Vivian. If we already had more rocks like Theran, Gilded Lotus, Land of War Elf, stuff like that, I'd probably get the Hydra. But I'm going to take the Planeswalker. Just because she can destroy artifacts, enchantments, creatures with flying, uh, we feel your hand. So we'll just take her. Okay then. Blue here is the only thing in the ice. So we will take one of the best cards here, Sylvan Library. Stuff that we could use if it came back to us. Um, Overgrown Battlements, Unexpected Absence is really good with X at zero. Loxodon, so we'll take the library. Okay. There's a voted druid. But instead of him, I will take. Rattleclaw Mystics because he gives us green and blue and having a way to produce blue is good control magic is nice I mean this is a tough pick don't get me wrong but that's what we're going with okay 
We got Rampage and Baylaws, Thrash and Brontosaurus, The Boss, Maze of Ith. I feel like the Brontodon would be the best. Okay, Nissa, Trigon Predator. I feel like Trigon Predator is the best because of the flying invasion. Search for Tomorrow or Hornet Queen. Hornet Queen is really annoying. So, she'll come on in. Okay, we're back to our first pack. We'll take the Elder. And as I kind of figured, nothing here came back to us. Um, we don't got any mana dorks, so I will take Utopia Sprawl. Okay, go back to here. Savannah, if you want to play green, white, blue. Again, we drafted that a lot. Red appears to be open. We'll take the Phoenix because Legion's landing. Doesn't really matter. And our last boot card would be Flame Slash. Okay, well, this is easy. Hello, Noble High Park. So you can go green, white, blue if you want to, or just green, blue. So one drop mana guy, pretty good. Okay, we got Birth and Pod, Chromatic Lantern, Steve, shit. I feel that's got to be the Elder to make sure our mana flow is right. You don't got good mana flow, it's just you just sit there and lose. So, we will take them. Okay. We do have some good blue stuff here with Kira, the Great Glass Spinner. Playing lots of creatures. I will hope she wheels. Or into the Royal does, and I will take Rampant Growth. Okay, we will take Cold Steel Heart, hope to wheel the Mana Fixer, and in this one, We could take the Monolith, which is pretty weak mana rock, or the Exclusion Mage, which I, as well, I will take. Yep. No William. Um, I think it's easily pick here is a breeding pool so we have some good land options okay scavenger news tooth and nail or mana confluence we will grab tooth and nail as a 
big finisher. We could get Iona, make people hate us. Temple Mastery. Or the Octopus. Well, the Octopus gives us the option for opposition. So we'll take that. Because he makes so many tokens. I really only have one white card now, so I don't want to force white in here. Even more blue would give us better options. Okay. Came back to us. So Beast Whisperer will take you and no. Conscript is really good. We're doing okay here. Okay. Nothing useful came back to us. Not a thing. Um, I will take Recruiter, the Great Glass Spinner came back like I had hoped, Primal Commanders here, grab that one, and apparently Red was open this time. goes over here. I want to play in the red stuff. Okay. Well, we got a green one drop. We got Ugin. We got Teferi. Teferi is nice. Pact of Negation is nice. Champion Wits. That Faden is super cool too. We are just simply going to take Elvish Mystic. I know there's quote better cards here. We we'll hope to wheel Lumber and Falls. This seems like the best solution to our deck. Okay. We got Charter Course, which is good. Ludwell Core, the Pilgrim from Mana Guy. We could get Sneak Attack and try to cram it right in here, but let's not. It's going to be the Pilgrim. So that gives us several one drops now. So I'm happy. Okay. We could take Emerald Cool. But I really feel like we take the Troll or we take Chase. I think Chase is better because we don't have much card draw. Okay. We can take Sour Temptation, Careful Consideration. Carnage Tyrant. We could take Pot in the Shaman. Um, I want to take the Tyrant. There's the Elder. There's Hedron Archives. Yeah. Hedron Archives is what it's going to be. Okay, no blue cards here, but we do have some control, Acidic Slime, and Beast Within. Um, Beast Within is super cool, especially in Commander. We don't have any 5 drops though, so we will take 
acidic slime. Trastarni Harmonize Spellseeker Dahlia. Okay. We haven't picked up much white. We won't. We'll just take the Harmonize for card draw because we need some. Okay. We won't get the Gear Hulk. We'll get the Harbor. So maybe this means Wimborne Falls is going to wheel because we should be back to the beginning. Okay, nope, to begin in this next pack. Lightning Greens can be useful. So it's Lightning Greaves or Pack of Negation. Uh, I feel like it's Lightning Greaves because we have we're 27, we want a very little blue. Most of our blue will be one cost. If we play any blue too, that's an option too. We can just cut all the blue except the Sphinx. Okay. No shock really that went. We'll take the Hell Kite. Because she's good. I think this is the deck, the pack coming up with Lumber and Falls in it. Find out here in a little bit. She's being super slow, Cold Piper. Pyre. Okay, so the land's not here. Do we want to try to take a big silly thing? Sure, we'll take a big thing. Um, take Awakening Zone from the sideboard, Genesis Wave, Anger of the Gods, and Thunder My Hellkite. Okay, there's the deck. So let's see here what we can do. Okay, so if we get rid of all the mono blue stuff. Except a Sphinx and Trigon. That gives us a 17 land deck. Well, I'm not thrilled with that. I don't really hate it either. I could cut Steel Hellkite, add in Lightning Greaves, and Ulamog. I most rather run a package like this of having exclusion. Adding Kira, Exclusion Mage, take out the Elder, the Thrashing Guy, throw in Jace, and add in Trigon Predator. Yeah, 
I like that a lot better. Okay. So let's sort a little bit. Do 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 do. So this is green mana here. Got add some basic land. That sounds about right. Okay, four and eight. Let's add one island. Put that forest up there. So guys, I think this is what we're going to run. So, I will see you all in Legacy Cube Match 1 next video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Comment below. Follow us on Facebook. My name is Ben Draymore. And thank you for watching The Wizards Arena.